Pilgrim Hall Museum is launching a new archiving project all about wedding attire. They are looking for the public to contribute pictures and materials. PCN's news director, Kim Mio, took the call personally and headed down to the museum to get involved. I'm here at Pilgrim Hall Museum in Plymouth looking at their newest exhibit that's coming up this spring, archiving weddings going back to the 1600s. They're inviting the public to be part of it. And I thought, well, I got married in Plymouth, so I picked out my wedding album and decided to bring it down and add it to the collection. We started out by meeting up with the museum's archivist to learn more about the exhibit. Our next exhibition is going to be Weddings 396. It examines 396 years of wedding fashions in Plymouth Colony, from the first wedding in 1621 of Edward Winslow and Susanna White, all the way up to the present. The museum has been reaching out to the community for input and materials. We are hosting a series of wedding documentation days. One is February 11th, the other is March 12th, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., where we invite the general public to bring in any wedding photographs or other related items that they might have to the museum so that we can scan them and digitize them and possibly include them in our upcoming exhibition. What you would do is bring in your materials to me. I would professionally scan them on our high resolution digital scanner and then you would be able to take your images home with you. We do not keep them. What we keep at the museum is the digital file. The museum is partnering with area organizations to help enhance the exhibit. Plymouth's Antiquarian Society brought over some historic wedding dresses to give us a preview. I was delighted when Pilgrim Hall Museum contacted me about borrowing some of our wedding dresses to display in their wedding exhibit this spring. The Plymouth Antiquarian Society has a large collection of historic textiles and historic clothing, and so it's a really wonderful opportunity for us to pull those things out of storage and have them on view for the public. So we pulled out two dresses that we know we want to include in the exhibit. This one is actually from the 1830s. It belonged to Sarah Thomas Hedge, who married Joseph Cushman in Plymouth in 1835. She actually got married just a week shy of her 21st birthday, so she was um, born in 1814. Her father was Barnabas Hedge, who is the brother of Thomas Hedge, who lived in what is now the Hedge House Museum. The second dress was worn by Sarah Shippen, who married Arthur Lord of Plymouth in 1878. Arthur Lord was a very important figure here in town. He was president of the Pilgrim Society for many years. Um, he was very involved with the Pilgrim Church Centenary in 1920 and 21. And so it's a wonderful chance for us to highlight um, his wife and to consider the role she may have played in the Plymouth community. We're hoping to get about 25 to 30 wedding dresses to display here, a mix of vintage and modern wedding dresses. We really want to examine how wedding fashions have changed over time. Why do most brides wear white now? Was that always the case 100, 200, 300 years ago? So another aspect of this community involvement is creating a digital repository that we would like to make these images a part of our archival collection and preserve them for generations to come. And who doesn't like a wedding? <laughs> and you can, it's not only for yourself, but call your parents, your grandparents. Um, you don't have to be from Plymouth, uh, but anywhere from the South Shore area. Yeah, anyone can contribute. And also, um, if you can't make the two days mentioned, uh, you can call the museum and set up an appointment. They have a website, and the, ex the exhibition actually starts in May, um, so you have plenty of time to get down there and uh, add your stuff in to this wonderful wedding display.